Simona Di Silvestro and today I'm at Rover Racing to meet everyone for the preparation of the six hours of Nürburgring. Let's go check it out. Hi. Hi Simona, I'm Alexandra, nice to meet you. I'm the CEO from Rover Motor Oil. Nice meeting you. Hi Simona, I'm HP, team principal of Rover Racing. Would you like to come in and have a, a look outside and I describe everything to you? Yes, can't wait to see the race cars. First. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, um, this is our workshop here on 800 square meters. Um, first of all, you can see our two Porsche racing cars. Um, we're preparing for the coming race. And we will have a look, uh, check everything through. Um, and as you can see there, that's gonna be your racing car. Nice. Almost ready, as you can see, just a little bit racing numbers missing. Um, and you're racing with number 98. Yes. Yeah, so. Special number? Special for number. The team, yeah? yeah? Yeah, special number from the team, yeah. Okay, okay. Exactly. Perfect. And, um, Maybe I'm going to show you the other parts of the, of the workshop. On the left side you can see now uh, one of our important workshops. It's our gearbox workshop. Okay. So where we specially prepare the gearboxes and the clutches for the race cars. We do that by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And additionally, we do a special development program with Rover on lubricants, yeah. which is quite important, especially for gearboxes. And it's very good. Uh, we've been doing very, very good performances in the last couple of years, so we can strengthen and lengthen the running time of the gearboxes. Uh, it's, it's quite good, yeah. So, yeah, so you, when you work with them, you always send everything back to get it checked and, yeah. Exactly, kind of every together. time. That's good, that's good. Good performance. And what do you think? Um, you're going to jump in your racing suit? Yes. And we start preparing your, your race car, Sounds making good. the seat? Yep, let's yeah. Go. So let's go. Hey, you Hey, Simona. How are you? Good? Very good? Yeah. How are you doing? Pretty good. How does it fit? Well, see, it's fine so far, so I think yeah. we can go racing. Let's do it. I'll okay. try it as well. <laughs> Perfect. Hello guys, uh, my name is Timo Bernhard and uh, yeah, so it will be two premieres at uh, the Nürburgring at the GT World Challenge race. One will be that I will, will be the first time for myself to run for uh, Rover Racing. And the second one will be that I will share the driving duties with uh, Simona de Silvestro. I regard her very highly. I remember when I was racing uh, back a couple of years ago in the US, she was uh, driving the IndyCar series and the Indy 500. And I remember I was following her and she did a really good job and now our path crossed. She's a new member uh, in the Porsche family as a Porsche factory driver. And uh, it will be an honor and a really fun, I think, a good adventure for us to share the car at the Nürburgring. So I'm really looking forward to that. So Simona, what's your first impression of Rube Racing and your race car? Yeah, I think it's an amazing facility. I think, uh, you know, they've achieved so much. And for me, it's uh, an honor really to, to kind of represent like and racing in this car. And the car, I think, looks pretty amazing. Looks pretty fast. That's uh, what always counts. And Timo and I are, are fitting really well in the race car. So that's already the first box that is uh, that is ticked. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. But yeah, how come this whole racing team uh, came about through you guys? For us, it's a great opportunity to prove and to show that all our products withstand even the hardest conditions. So we develop um, the products on our own and we test and analyze them in our laboratory. We also call it our driving laboratory because during racing you, yeah, you face the hardest conditions. And second, of course, it's a, a good marketing tool for us because um, yeah, we target exactly the customers that are already interested in the product that have a high product affinity. And uh, thirdly, well, racing is passion. I think you know that. And what we do is uh, passion as well. So there was a high congruence or is a high congruence of um, the value set. Oh, that's cool. Well, I think now we've seen the race car. I'd love to see your facility. Of course. So let's. Yeah, let's go. We can do that. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome to our laboratory. Thank you. I've got something for you. Nice. Do you want to wear it? Yes, I love it. I feel like... We also have glasses perfect. if you want. 
Oh, I think uh, I think this is good. Okay. I look like I belong here, so very ready. competent. Ready to check you it out. You can start work here if you yeah. want. <laughs> okay. okay, so this is a laboratory. We do batch control as a part of the quality assurance here, as well as the research. Okay. I want to show you two instruments, okay. two methods that we um, yeah use when it comes to the development of um, racing oils. And um, one of it is um, the ICP here. Okay. It's uh, really, really funny. Cool, yeah. Her name is Jutta. Oh, Jutta. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't know that before, but I think <laughs> it's very funny. So when you look inside, you can see a little flame. So what you do here is you, you take a, a little oil sample mm -hmm. um, or another fluid. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And then you heat it up to 8 to 10,000 degrees Celsius. Oh, wow. So what happens inside is that um, the fluid sample it splits up into its elements, mm -hmm. and then you can have a look at it. You you find maybe um, sulfur, but also iron or other metallic elements, for example. Okay. And um, this is very interesting, especially in terms of racing. Yeah, because when you when you when you find metallic elements, then it's always um, yeah a sign for wear in a machinery element mm -hmm. and. Sometimes you can even tell from the metallic element in what kind of machinery element the wear was. Oh, okay. Yeah, so not a machine. Another <laughs> machine, yeah. Another uh, test instrument. This is the instrument that measures the HGHS viscosity. Mm -hmm. It means high temperature, oh, how... high shear. Okay. Yeah. So um, the the story behind this that um, yeah we we already talked about it when you. When you heat the oil up, it gets um, thinner, mm -hmm. yeah. And with HGHS, you, you can imagine that um, yeah that you're swimming and you have a, a thick oil film on your skin. So what you need is a lot of energy to move around. Yeah. And when it's too thin, yeah, the oil film, then um, yeah, you need less energy, but you might sink to the ground. Okay. So and this is always the balance that you have to achieve in the end. The oil film should not be too thick, but also not be too thin. Mm -hmm. And um, so the modern um, engine oils, they aim at a lower HGHS viscosity, below 3.5 centipoise. This is the unit, mm -hmm. but this only goes along with an engine hardware design that um, gets along with this low HGHS viscosity okay. because the oil film is too thin. And uh, the reason is less energy that you need, less yes. fuel consumption. And this Better is where energy. everything aims at. And this is why uh, we use a higher HGHS um, mm -hmm. value in our racing oils. Um, also because we, we focus more on the advantages of it. Yeah? Okay. When you have a thicker oil film, you can, you can be sure that um, yeah, the oil breaks not away, even when it's hotter mm -hmm. yeah? and when it's uh, thinner. You want to lubricate every part of the engine or the metal, um, the, the machinery element. And yeah, this is why we use a higher value. Okay. I'm going to show you um, where we fill the bottles. Yeah? Perfect. So let's go down to the production. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are in the filling area. So we have come from the mixing area and our product, it flows through the lines above here down to the filling area. We can fill 500 milliliters, one liter, four and five liters and on the other lines also drum sizes. So everything that our customers want. Yeah, so that's it. This is the end of the tour. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have gained some insights and had some fun. Yeah, it was uh, really cool to see. I've uh, never been to a plant like this, so it's, uh, it's quite exciting. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, that soon I'm going to get to show you my world. And uh, I guess I'm seeing you at the Nürburgring very soon. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Also. Awesome.